In this session, I want to show you how to set up the Keystore Explorer and to generate a certificate signing request with this tool. We have to follow three steps. Number one is download and install the Keystore Explorer. Then we create a key pair, a public and a private key. And finally, we generate a certificate signing request. You can obtain the Keystore Explorer software from lascosoftware.com. Here we are. Um, go to Downloads and download and save this zip file on your computer. You have to select the proper one for your operating system. In my case, it's a Windows system. Scroll down and accept the license agreement. Click on Continue and click on this link. I save it on my desktop. Next thing is you have to extract the file, extract all, extract. There is a folder with the setup program, run the setup program and install the system on your machine. The installation process is straightforward. Click on yes. and use the Swiss art. Again, you have to agree to the license agreement. Tick both boxes, Java key store and PKCS key stores. We will use mainly the PKCS key stores, but maybe you, in other circumstances, you can also use the Java key store. And finally, install the system. We start the uh, Keystore Explorer and we may get a warning that the uh, enhanced security file is not yet installed. Follow the instructions, click on OK, download the unlimited strength library. Accept the license agreement and click on this link. After you have downloaded the file, click on Browse to the Unlimited Strengths Your Restriction Policy zip. It's on my desktop. Click Choose and click Upgrade. The program restarts. In the next part of the uh, session we create a new key store and within that key store we create a certificate signing request that we can forward to the OLED CA. Number one, click on create a new key store. Select PKCS12, click OK. Then you have to create a key pair. A key pair consists of a private and a public key. The private key always remains in your own uh, area and the public key is sent to the ODET CA for signing and that will be your certificate. Click on this button, generate key pair. The key size should be 2048 byte. Click on OK. As a signature algorithm, we use SHA1 with RSA. Decide Upon the validity period of your um, certificate, it can be one, two, three, or four years. Be aware that uh, some customers only accept uh, certificates up to two years validity period. I select two years. And then assign the attribute values to your certificate. Click this button. The common name is usually the uh, qualified domain host name of your company. In my situation, it is OFTP2.org. 
auto minus supply dot co dot uk. If this certificate is to be issued only to your particular department, then uh, register also the organizational unit, let's say EDI department. The name of the organization is your company name, which is Automotive Supplies LTD. Locality name, that's the town or city where your uh, company is situated. You can omit the state, country, and a valid email address. In my case, it is my EDI at Outlook.com. Click OK. And OK, another one. The alias name is built automatically by the uh, subject and you can accept this. The next step is to generate the certificate signing request. Select the key pair that we just created, click right mouse button and click generate CSR. Again, we use the SH a1 with RSA as the signature algorithm and we have to uh, define where to store our CSR file. I store it onto my desktop. And we click OK. And as you can see on my desktop, my certificate CSR has been created. And that's the file I can submit to the ODCA later on. Last thing we have to do, we have to store this um, key store. Uh, we need it later on to match the signed certificate with our private key. Click on the Save button. Create a password. Only with that password you can open the key store again. And store the file as a P12 file. then we can close or exit this application.